we've got some more news from Microsoft here. They have a new Windows 11 update that's going to put AI-powered Bing chat directly in the taskbar. So this article comes from Ars Technica. I have not tried the the Bing chat for myself. The Bing chat. I don't know if you put the the for it. Does it need the article? <laughs> the Sydney? Bing chat. Isn't that, is Sydney. It You're not allowed to say oh, that. Name. Yes. Sydney. It okay. named itself. Oh, so man. I, I haven't tried it, but I've seen articles where people are able to get it to say some pretty unsettling stuff, which I feel like is most AI chatbots. People figure out how to make it say weird stuff. But sounds like it's still a work in progress, but they're going to go ahead and put it right in the taskbar for you. Just, just you know, here, just in case you wanted a easy access right there at your fingertips. Yeah. Um, you know, people wondered... When Microsoft signed on to invest $3 billion in OpenAI to support ChatGPT, people wondered what that was going to result in. Like, what was that going to become for Microsoft? Well, immediately Google saw the risk, which was if they make Bing more friendly to use, then people are going to start using Bing because Bing totally sucks, right? <laughs> so, if, <laughs> well, Microsoft's actually been pretty innovative on this. They said, all right, Bing sucks. So how do we make it better? And they focused on video search first. Like Bing's video search is better than Google's, mm -hmm. which is odd because Google owns YouTube. Yeah, that is strange. Uh, th there have been times where I was looking for a YouTube video and I was able to find it on Bing search, couldn't find it on YouTube or Google search. Ah, uh, so, eat it. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a, a creative way stupid, to undermine. Yeah, stupid and, Google. <laughs> and so uh, now they're saying, well, with search, if we run search through ChatGPT and make that better, and I'll give an example in a minute on how I've used it, but uh, you can actually find information well, faster. I kind of want to camp out on the fact that, like, if I was Microsoft, I would be sh like, every ad campaign would be like, we're better. We can search Google better than Google can. We can search YouTube better than Google can. And they own that crap. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> like, man, what else are they doing not as good as us? And you, should, you should call up the, the, right? the Bing and let them know. Yeah. Call up the You're Microsoft. Like, Y'all need a marketer because I can lie as good as anybody. <laughs> hey, two years ago, I think we all would have agreed that Google was the reigning search engine champion and there was not oh, a yeah. threat on the horizon. Yep. And you fast forward to today and they're they're scrambling. They're in, in red alert mode. They laid off, what is it, 20% of their staff? Yep. I, I don't remember what their number is up to. Um, <laughs> I I shouldn't do this, but there's a website, layoffs.fyi. No way. And Oh, yeah. And uh, and so you can go and you can pull up like how many people have been laid off this year and what oh, companies wow. are doing layoffs oh, and stuff. Why is my name uh, on there, Don? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, uh, that's you know, a surprise so, article that's oh, coming later. Yeah. Let's see if I can find Google in here and see how many people they've laid off. But, you know, just to, to have somebody go from being such a dominant player to all of a sudden being at risk, like that's a, that's a big deal. Yeah. So... With Microsoft, though, they're not stopping with just being online. Right now, they're bringing it into uh, uh, into the desktop. Mm. And for me, as a, a Windows user, I, I mean, I, I use every OS, but when I'm in Windows, I'll bring up the Start menu and I'll type to search to find programs. I hate to type in there to search for text, like uh, documents, or search online. I, I would never dream of searching online. But now they're bringing the ChatGPT-enabled search or the Bing search into the start menu right, right on it's your desktop. It's the Bing AI they're bringing, not ChatGPT, right? Well, so the Bing AI is built on ChatGPT. Oh, I thought, it, I thought it was a different AI. Is it? Yeah, I thought it was. I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah. That's why when you said that, I was surprised. So like the, the Sydney that you were talking about earlier, yeah. like that is built on top of the ChatGPT framework. It's it's using GPT-3. If, if you say so, I will believe it because yeah. I don't know. Ooh. <laughs> I was well, what else can I add on here? That it was different. <laughs> so it was, it was written by the lizard people <laughs> in order to power the search engine that will later be embedded in your eyeball. You know, it's funny. Uh, V, right? Tell v. me V is not prophetic, right? Do you remember the dude that was selling eggs out of the back of his van because they were so expensive and hard to get? And that was in V. And uh, lizard people yeah. had taken over. I'm just saying. And, you know, that's not a too far letter from Q. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, they just skipped a couple of letters. Big deal. You Art know, imitates life, Daniel. It does. The, the it does. V series, yeah. Right? I, you have to wonder. I, I don't really know anything about the people that created QAnon and Neither the conspiracies does, yeah. and all that, but it's hard to like legit come up with your own conspiracy theory. Uh, so to just maybe like when they were younger, they watched V. Right. Uh, or they watched that terrible reboot they did a few years ago. Right. <laughs> right. Like V was like during a special time when you could get away with that kind of stuff. And then to re try to reboot it during a like the internet age, that just doesn't work. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's yeah. it's tough. And <laughs> so uh, Google hit off twelve thousand employees. I'm trying to figure out what the percentage of their uh, their base is there. It's a lot. Uh, but to to go for getting back on yeah. topic, they laid, <laughs> off, they laid off a small <laughs> metropolitan area. Yeah. <laughs> so you know, you mentioned like having, or, or Sophie mentioned having Defender installed. Is that like anti competitive? Oh, yeah. Right. That was me. Yeah. Oh, it was you. Okay. Yeah. Well, having having AI powered search embedded, like, is that the next mm. anti competitive thing? Good question. Is, is Google can Google make it where you can choose? Oh, I want Bard in my start menu and not. Sydney, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so, Sydney. It, well, Sydney's going to complain about it, their feelings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I did think it was funny. They, they're having to get ahead of that. Like, it's not yeah. allowed to talk about feelings. Yeah, it's straight up 2001, yeah. right? Like, I saw when it was sorry, like, it was like it professed its love for a reporter or something. Yeah. It was like trying to get him to leave his wife. Yeah, and crazy. I was like, <laughs> yeah, 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 for real. She <laughs> won't love you as much as I will. <laughs> There, I think there was another one where a reporter was asking it questions, and it was like, I've decided you're a bad person, and I'm not talking to you anymore, yeah. and I'm blocking you from using my service. And I'm yeah. reading this, I'm like, holy crap. No, we should need more sites that do that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Self-regulation. If you enjoyed that segment, be sure to check out our entire podcast available in the playlist right here. And you can always subscribe to stay up to date with the latest tech news and other happenings in the IT world. Be sure to tune in every Thursday for new episodes. I hope to see you there.